Hi, I'm Bonnie from San Atlantic and we chose to cover Your Graduation by Modern Baseball. As a band we really do like Modern Baseball and personally, like when I got into them I was like, this is a cliche but like I was going through like a really rough kind of time emotionally so when I put their music on it just like, even though it's sad and like usually if you're in a sad mood like maybe you want to listen to something happy but listening to something sad and like that was so real just kind of made me feel so much better. I know it sounds so cliche, but like that's literally what music does and like what it's for, so. I got started in music fairly early on. My dad is a musician and he was like touring in a band like in the 80s, mullets for sure. So yeah, he kind of got me into like guitar and taught me my first like chords. And even though I was playing it like upside down and back to front, I thought I was left-handed apparently, which I'm not. Uh, but uh, yeah, so he kind of got me into the whole thing. One of my most vivid like memories is like uh, my mum, when I was really young, um, she'd take me with her to like all her jobs because she was kind of like a single mum, I guess. And um, she'd play this tape on repeat of this country artist called Lucinda Williams. And I didn't know what she looked like or anything like what she did, but I, now I know like all her songs like back to front still to this day. Like I can remember all the lyrics because she just played this one, one tape over and over in her car every day. And uh, when I looked her up when I was older, she played guitar and she sung and I was like, oh my God, like, I don't know. I just felt like a cute little bit of peace in my heart. And I was like, oh, that's so sick. Like I can do that too. Yes, I can definitely describe 17, 18 year old me. Uh, very, very different to how I am now. A lot of people, who are like older, like 30 and 30 plus, just keep saying like, oh, I just still feel like I'm 18. I do not at all. If I was still 18, like it would be a train wreck, like more so than right now. I was very insecure. Um, I didn't know who I was, even though I liked to think that I did. I thought I could kind of do anything and it'd be all right. I didn't really think about other people very much. And now I'm, stoked that like I do like the opposite of all those things at the moment so that's good and uh, I was very emotional uh, yeah I didn't know who I was <laughs> I definitely struggled for a while like with my sexuality like I didn't really know what I was doing or like who I liked and that kind of thing and uh, growing up I learned to kind of just accept who I was and like I know people say a lot of the time like if they're struggling with their sexuality that the hardest person to come out to is yourself so uh, that was me <laughs> uh, and yeah I think that was the main thing and like the main reason why I didn't really feel like secure in myself for a long time um, I still like don't at, like the best of times but like I try a lot harder now I uh, trust your friends more and like give them the benefit of the doubt to like accept you and like don't feel like they're not gonna and yeah like they're not monsters like you're they're your friends for a reason so just trust in them and like they will support you and like it's chill just chill out bruh <laughs> if you're toying with the idea of starting a band as a woman or just as anyone in general just do it like there's nothing to lose except that you'd love it a lot and then like you probably won't have a lot of money for a while <laughs> but like definitely if you're into music and you're interested in starting a band like freaking do it like start writing songs um go for it because what have you got to lose yeah songs and bands may help you in the moment but if you are struggling with mental health please follow the links below and seek some professional advice